Hi folks, just one maybe quick video before my dad picks me up and we go through to Ellingson to go and change his jobbers. So I just want to say um, it's unfortunate that that video had to get taken down off um, the main channel of Ricky's. I had to get edited, then I had to get posted back up again um, like 24 hours later. Within the first four hours, I got a good amount of views, really good amount of views. Um, unfortunately, I had to change hangy, but we're going to get our second part done um, and we're going to speak more about other things just regarding what goes on inside prison, um, mental health and my 20 years worth of addiction to try and spread a better message. Right? Blanco says, for Glasgow, respect people, Blanco, shout out bro, my friends know you by the way, if possible. Um, we speak too fast, your very first podcast is very, when you've got anxiety, PTSD, and mental health problems, right? It's, and your confidence isn't too good, and you've just been overcome a 20 year addiction. It's a lot today, the first time. However, that's me with my first foot in the door. Other person I'd like to shout to is Donny. I appreciate that comment, Donny. We've all had a hard life, bro, in that kind of world. At the end of the day, all we can do is move on through the past. We can't live in the past, we can live in the present. But what we can do is we can spread awareness and we can make a difference to our kids and other people's kids. And hopefully, folk like us can make a difference for other people. Because at the end of the day, it's a very sad world we live in. Drugs is taking over. And we've got that experience, like you know, Donny, I've had just under 20 years worth of class A deal addiction, it's cocaine, for 12 years old, up until I was 31, 32, I'm now 34 now, I'm 35 next year, and I mean, there's no many folk can say they survived three heart attacks, an inflamed chest, a stabbing, all before the age of 30, and I can still smile, and I'm positive, and I've got no enemies, and I love I just love life. Um, onwards and upwards. Donnie, you're doing great. Like, I just, it's amazing to see what you've done in your life as well. Um, so, respect to you and your, your partner, Donnie boy. Um, I've got no hatred towards anybody. Even folk that stabbed my head and done stuff towards me. I just want the best. They were clearly no well in the head or with some sort of grievance at the time. But I was talking to the boy's brother for a prison phone call um, just before what Gallery phone somebody I was with. Yeah, I spoke to him on the phone and I told him, bro, forget about that. Prison you stab in the heat, it was your brother. When you get released to prison, we'll meet up and we'll just put it to bed in a respectful manner. Um, and he was happy at that. So, like I say, it's a shame that podcast had to get taken down, but put back up, but I couldn't reach the same audience. So I'm going to know the second podcast, I've got another two lined up for this year, but the second one I'll do with Ricky, I'm going to make sure I'm... Relax and content, and I'm not going to speak as if I'm in budget seats. Um, bear in mind, I just not being long, no long diagnosed with ADHD. I've always you know, had it, that's why I can be. Or I thought I'd buy poor, I've not buy poor, I'm not I'm up here or down there. I'm, I can either talk too fast or talk too slow. But like Blanco says, she anxiety takes over. Um, and I'll be honest with you, when I watched that back. I only spoke about 5% of the amount of stuff I wanted to speak about. However, shout out to everybody that's um, supporting my channel um, and I wish you all the best. And I'm all about recovery, mental health, spreading awareness, and the amount of stories that I can still tell that are funny, traumatic, and should pick young kids off while I live that life.